Hello everyone, and today we'll be going over um, a quick tutorial on um, setting up Visual Studio in Unity. Um, so I'm going to be loading up a Rollerball project. Um, that's one of the tutorial projects of gaming for Unity. Get a tutorial. Um, so it seems that it's highly recommended that everyone actually use the you know, videos um videos um uh, provided by unity learn um getting started with visual studio and unity i'm pretty sure this is like one of the first tutorials i tell you to take um looking at it i don't quite know because generally like, Unity Learn is a great resource um, for those getting started or have no idea what to do with Unity. Um, I used Unity back when Mono Develop was a thing, so around four or five years ago. And um, recently, they're starting to use something called the Microsoft Visual Studios. It's just the IDE, um, the Integrated Development Environment. It's basically the programming. The IDEs are integrated. Let me quickly see. I just want to make sure. Yeah, integrated development environment. So th this is basically where you just write your code, right? It's like Notepad or Notepad++. Plus plus. Um, you have to have something to actually see the code. Um, and so, so generally, if you have no, um, so it's highly recommended. I, I um, foolishly, I thought I could get into it, uh, straight up get into um, coding, because I did Unity before four or five years ago. But recently, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the interface has changed and the setup has changed. It's highly recommend you check it out. Um, so, uh, looking at some of the links, a uh, few people that'd be good to look at is um, Visual Studio and Unity getting started is generally the type of um, that's the type of title you, you're going to want to look for um, if you're searching for similar videos. Um, obviously, there are some very great um, tutorials on links. Um, Microsoft Docs has one that says "Get Started with Visual Studio for Unity." Um, if you have more trouble. Um, it's a troubleshooting and known issues Visual Studio tools for Unity as well. Um, I'll be going into a few of those as well. So um, I'll actually be setting it up. This is just more background information if you're interested. Um, here's a few form things as well. Uh, Video Studio can attach the Unity editor. It'll give you all these instructions. Um, a lot of these are from like 2016. This one's from 2018. But because the Unity keeps changing and it's hard to see what we're talking about, I'll be going over the video tutorial as well. So. I'll be checking back on the documentation of um, Unity. Um, so we'll start to look at how to do it. So if you see here, I clicked on this player script, uh, C sharp script, and I coded this stuff. Um, it's like the code theoretically should work if everything was set up correctly. But as you can see here down on the bottom, um, it just does not like file name. I don't quite know what this error is, it's just that you're going to start to get few errors that the script is not like integrated into Unity. Like if you try and do certain buttons like open a C sharp project or open up this specific C sharp project, it cannot um it just it doesn't like trying to open it. So it'll give out something an exception like that. Because um the the Microsoft Visual Studio hasn't been properly set up yet. Um, so the first thing to always check is um, it'll tell you to do something along the lines of go to tools and then um, either you can get tools and features or options. Um, let me check out the get tools and features first. So to show you stuff like that, things you've installed. Um, actually, so you want to go to tools. Um, generally, if you look at this form right here, it tells you something along the lines of some of the older versions will tell you to go to Visual Studio Tools, Tools and Features, um, but in the, I think a lot of these people are working with uh, Visual Studio 2015. Uh, more recently, most people are starting to use Visual Studio 2017. That's the newer version, but you can notice that the Tools and Features button is not located under Tools. Get Tools and Features, um, that's the closest thing. The button you actually want to press is Option. Um, let's see here. So, yeah, this is to confirm it, but um, I just check here. So most of these people will tell you this is how you confirm it, but there are a few plugins you need for Visual Studio for it to work. 
So obviously you need to go to environment and you'll see here's tools for Unity. Here's some of the permissions. I wouldn't change that too much. Um, but there is, I think, one or two things you do need to set up. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think it might be under custom. No, it's not under customize. Well, under one of these tools options, you can see um, there's an update thing that will allow you to extensions and updates. Um, Obviously, always update your software. If you update your software, generally, you're highly more you're more likely to get it to work. Uh, if not, there are a few things you need to check with um, with the Microsoft Visual Studio. Um, I'll probably put a cut here. Oh yeah, okay. So I finally found what we're looking for. Um, so yeah, I finally found what we're looking for. Um, we're looking for the, so, okay, so I'll actually go to the form post. Um, this is by Italia did. So this user on Stack Exchange here has a really good idea. So go to tools, get tools and features, modify and update. So if you go to here, that's tools, get tools and features, it'll start to load up this screen. It just shows you the workloads. This is actually what's located under, not tools and tools and preferences. I don't know why that's not showing up. But here you can see some of the workloads that you can install. Um, a few things that I think are required is the net desktop environment, uh, C++, and this. The rest are pretty optional. And the tab you're looking for is this mobile development with Unity. This is really the package you're looking for. You click on it, you can see some of the optional drivers and whatnot. Whoa, actually, okay, no, that's universal. Um, Make sure to always leave that click on. Now you see there's the editor that you're looking for. Um, so this is the stuff you want to download for the um, Visual Studio to make sure it's thing. Um, generally, it'll tell you how much space uh, it's required. I don't know what these two buttons do, but keep in mind you can always press modify and it will start to install. I'm not actually going to do it because I have it installed and it takes a while to download. So that's really annoying. Um, other cool stuff as well. Here are just some more tabs you're looking for. But overall, this is where this package or workload is what you're going to be using for the Unity. Once you have that downloaded, um, you're going to go back to Unity. And um, from here, you're going to do what most of these people say. This, this part is really well documented. Um, it's both located under the Unity Learn, um, Unity Learn setting, getting started with Visual Studio and Unity. It tells you exactly how to do it. This is the more conventional way. Um, but I'll be showing it to you. This is also well documented under the Microsoft documents. So if you're looking for that, um, keep in mind, um, Unity now uses Visual Studio. I mean, theoretically, you can use Mono Develop from what I read, but um, currently Unity is using Visual Studio because I guess the 4.6, the Netscape did not integrate well with the Unity software. But enough about history. Um, we'll get back into the actual thing. So. What you're looking for is the edit tab, like most of them document, as you can see here. You're going to go to preferences, and this is where the major problem comes through. Um, you're going to look for the external script editor. It might say something like internal, or it might say something like mono develop. Um, you want to change that to Visual Studio 2017. Um, generate all CS project files. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but it looks okay. Plus, this stuff should be automatic, and then you should be good to go. So now when you program, I don't think I saved it actually. Now, when you program, theoretically, it should work. Oh, shoot. Okay. I guess there's no app to apply button. Oh well. Um, I'll delete this. I'll try and run. I'll try and open the C sharp project. Well, actually, it's not a C sharp project. more of a C sharp script to be honest and now you can see it's starting to attach the it should theoretically attach the project to unity that's what should happen as you can see here a lot of these unity variables finally are showing up in my solutions explorer um, you can close these 
but that just shows that it's fully working and it should be using a lot of the Unity setup stuff. Which is good. We'll open up the script. And if we save this, we shouldn't be getting any errors. Um, these are probably script errors, but overall it seems to be working. Okay, and that should be it for the setup. Um, if it's unclear, you can also check out some of these links up here, the Visual Studios, um, and testing stuff out. Cool. Oh yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, one last thing I'd like to show everyone before coding is that now, um, previously, if you don't attach the, um, if you don't attach the Microsoft Visual Studio to the Unity um, library or plugins or whatever it's called. As you can see, here's the solution score. It's all working. But um, if you can, um, it won't auto-complete a lot of the coding preferences that you generally have. So um, Unity C Sharp has a few um, classes and whatnot. Um, I, I don't know what it's called. It's like the pre-coded documentation. So like there are certain variables or whatnot um, functions, I believe it is what they're called that have been pre-coded, but now as you can, if before you won't be able to get anything like this because um, the libraries aren't there, but once you get the IDE for the Microsoft Visual Studio set up, it'll auto-complete it. I think it's, it'll auto-complete some of the queries that you type it. Anyway, so this is just the code for the Lullaball project, um, beginner project, and it's um, pretty good to get started and get back into, um, or just start programming with Unity in C Sharp. So yeah. Uh, that's that's just uh, something I found interesting because before it, um, if you started typing um, other stuff, it wouldn't it wouldn't find it because those um, functions and classes are specific to Unity. And well, yeah.